so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to learn and practice really hard songs you know like the ones that give you a total pasting and do not kid yourself sooner or later you are going to get faced with a song a riff a lick or a line that is basically going to give you a total ass kicking and when you're in a tough spot like that you have only got two choices number one roll over and start sucking your thumb like a big bass baby and number two and number two, use the specific techniques and tricks like the ones I'll be showing you in this video whenever you're trying to learn something that's really pushing your level. So by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to know exactly what to do the next time you're up against a ball breaker of a bass line. Scott Ivan here from scottsbasslessons.com helping you take your bass playing to the next level. On this channel we focus on one thing and one thing only, bass. So if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Now if you're already a subscriber to the channel and you're thinking about becoming a fully fledged member over at scottsbasslessons.com I want to give a quick shout and let you know that there is an insane offer on annual memberships right now that you can grab over on the website. We're doing it to actually celebrate the release of Players Path which is the only performance-based online learning system for bass players, including over 50 hours of in-depth video tutorials with yours truly, and we've just launched it right into the membership within scottsbasslessons.com. So if you remember, go check it out. So first of all, I wanna play you the part that recently totally kicked my behind. Right, and for context, this part is actually taken from one of the songs that's included in Player's Path over in the membership of scottsbasslessons.com that I just mentioned. So if you are crazy enough to want to give this song a try, it's in level nine. It's the top level. So first of all, let's check out the part that I'm talking about, and then I'm going to get into the five specific tips that you can use when you're learning a line that's like hairy as this is. Let's get into it. Here we go. Woo, total handful. Now tip number one when it comes to learning hard songs is if you have the music or notation you want to be marking that up, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what you should be doing. If we look at this first bar here, okay, we've got one, two. So this one is on two. So I would write a two above this note. So when I'm, when I'm, you know, when I'm actually playing it, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm looking and I, mm, I can understand that that's on a two, okay? Now the next bar is on, we've got a rest on one, and then on the and of one, we've got an and, okay? So. Let me write that in there. We've got an and, then we've got a two, two, and then we've got an and, then we've got a rest, then we've got an and, then we've got a rest, and then we've got an E. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four E, okay? Just don't be afraid to, if you've got the notation or tab or whatever it is, don't be afraid to mark up where the rhythms are on the notation because if you're just starting out with this kind of stuff, it'll really help you just understand where the, you know, where the subdivisions are within the bars so you're nailing them every time you play them. So tip number two is to slow it down. Slow it down, don't try and play it at full tempo and use a metronome if needed. I love using metronomes for stuff like this. I'm always trying to speed things up. I need something like a metronome to be like, dude, slow it down, keep it chilled. And this is when we're trying to nail complex rhythms. This is when the metronome just helps, you know, guide us a little bit. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And you can slow it down to whatever tempo you need to, to just be able to get through it and get it under your fingers, okay? Now, tip number three is learn it measure by measure. If we look at this, the first, well, the first measure 
is super clean, right? Super easy. It's just we've got that big old F on beat two. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at the next bar. It's one and two and. So I'm making sure that one and two and three and. And I even, to go in even finer detail, I'll actually break it down phrase by phrase. So instead of thinking one and two and three and four, okay, instead of doing that, what I try and do is, okay, let me just get the first three notes down. One, two, three, four, one and two and 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 three, four. Then I'm gonna add the next note on. One and two and three and four. 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 Then the next note. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. E. One. Okay, that's hard to loop. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and 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 four. Now you don't need to nail it at full tempo. What we're looking for right now is just being able to get this under our fingers and nail the rhythms, not the tempo, the rhythms. We need to nail those rhythms and get them nice and clean so they're in the right place. Then we can start to lift the tempo of the entire section. Now, tip four is use the most efficient fingering. Okay, there's too many bass players who play and their fingers are all sort of falling over each other like a blooming like a, I don't know what it's like, like a blooming octopus trying to play bass, okay? You need to work on your fingering, put the time and energy into doing this. So when I look at this first bar, it's easy, okay? Finger one, right? But when I come up here, we've got this cool little phrase, one and two and three and four. Now, there's a multitude of different ways I could do it, but this is the most efficient fingering. So really spend time getting your fingering efficiency together. Now tip number five is use a metronome when switching between two time signatures, okay? And I've got a cool little trick for this. And if you look at the music, I'll make sure that this is on screen for you, okay? Um, that, that last bar that we just played, that was that was in 4-4, four, four, but then it moves into 3-4, and then we've got this really cool So when you're going into this section, you can use a metronome, okay, to help you transition from 4-4 four, four into 3-4. What you want to make sure is that there's no beat one marker. So a beat one marker sounds like this, right? But that's clearly in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. We need to get rid of the beat or marker so it's all the same. Practice transitioning between that last 4-4 four, four bar and the first few bars of 3-4. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. I'm in three now. Now I've also got two bonus tips for you. I've actually, yeah, I thought I had one bonus tip, but I've got two bonus tips, okay? So first bonus tip is to practice it as a section. For instance, you don't want to be repeating this song all, you know, all the way through and every time you get to this really hard section, kind of like slip off mess it up and then, oh, I'll start the whole song again. Eh, do not do that, okay? Repeat it round and round, loop it. Don't keep repeating the song until you can nail it. Just repeat that line around and around. Now the second bonus tip is just to be patient and put in the work required to actually nail the part. For the most part, in my experience when working with students, is that they put in like 90% of the work and, and kind of like hope that that 10% will naturally, you know, fix itself. In general, it won't. So what you want to do is make sure that you're putting 100% of the effort in to make sure that you nail that part to the point where you should be almost more confident about that tricky bit than the rest of the song. That's kind of the gauge that you want to be looking for, okay? That's when you know that you've put the practice in because that tricky part will be easier and you'll feel more relaxed 
about it than the rest of the track. Now, if you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure that you smash that like button below. I will love you forever. And if you're looking to push your bass playing to the next level, and specifically how to play this instrument, one of the best instruments in the world, the bass, you should absolutely check out the new system that we've just launched into scottsbasslessons.com. It's called Players Path, and it is the only performance-based online learning system for bass players in the world in existence, right? And it includes over 50 hours of in-depth video tutorials with me. So if you can put up with me for over 50 hours, maybe it's for you. Okay, it's the first of its kind and it has taken the team and I here at scottsbasslessons.com over two years to develop and is going to revolutionize, revolutionize, revolutionize online bass education and ultimately the way that you learn bass. Now in this system, there are nine levels from super beginner to super advanced, as you've probably heard. In each level, there are multiple song projects for you to learn, each that focus in on a specific technique. And once you think you're ready to move to the next level, you can actually take an assessment and earn your badge as part of the membership, right? And I'm with you every step of the way, showing you exactly how to learn and perform the song projects in the greatest of details. As I said, this is now included with the membership at scottsbasslessons.com. So if you're already a member, you have access to it right now. And if not, you're in luck because right now you can grab an annual membership over on the website for less than $3 a week. I know that sounds nuts, but just hit the link in the description and you'll be able to find out all about it. But it's only for the next, I don't even think it's for the next week. I think it's for the next few days or so. So check it out before it's too late. And with that said, thanks again and take it easy. I'll see you in the shed.